President Trump to speak with Recep Erdogan as Turkey attacks Kurds in Syria. President Trump will talk to Turkey's Recep Tayyip Erdogan on Wednesday as Turkish fighters ramp up attacks on Kurdish-held enclaves in northern Syria, the White House said on Tuesday. Turkish forces have killed at least 260 people after unleashing an all-out offensive against U.S.-backed Kurdish militias, firing rockets, and sending troops into the Kurdish-held area of Afrin. Erdogan blasted the U.S. for supporting what he called a terrorist organization on Monday. The Olive Branch operation against the YPG, a Syrian Kurdish militant group, across the Turkish border began on Saturday. A senior Trump administration official, who briefed reporters on condition of anonymity, said Turkish officials had sent conflicting signals about the scope of the offensive. At least 260 Syrian Kurdish fighters and Islamic State militants, the Turkish military said. The Britain-based Syrian Observatory for Human Rights Monitoring Group says at 24 civilians, 24 Kurdish fighters, and 25 Turkish-backed Syrian militiamen have been killed in the clashes. The Turkish forces entered the area shortly after it was reported that the U.S. was aiding the YPG in forming a border security force. We are concerned about the Turkish incident in northern Syria, he said during a joint press conference in London with British Foreign Secretary Boris Johnson. We recognize and fully appreciate Turkey's legitimate right to protect its own citizens from terrorist elements. Turkish Foreign Minister Mevlut Cavusoglu was quoted by online news outlet Arti Jursik saying that the two leaders will speak on Wednesday. White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders confirmed the call. Syria has been ravaged by a brutal civil war that began in 2011. Unrest began with protests against Syrian President Bashar al-Assad, but government forces used force in an attempt to quell the demonstrations. Hundreds of thousands of people have been killed and millions displaced as the violence escalated and the U.S. and Russia backed competing factions and battled Islamic terrorists within the country.